Welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk Boxing. I'm Letty. I'm LB. And let's talk about our next fight this right, weekend, let's guys. Get it, let's get it. So we have Delfimo Lopez. Okay. The return, the takeover. Delfimo Lopez out of Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn! Um, Where Brooklyn at? Where Brooklyn at? <laughs> versus Pedro Campo out of Mexico. All right, so all right. let's get it. All right. What, what you think? Press conference just happened. Yeah, yeah. Was it, was it action? No action? Um, you know, it was a uh, you know the the press conference. It really didn't have too much action. You know, it was just uh, it seemed like it was just a uh, formality of them having the press conference before the fight. Um, you know, it really wasn't too much going back and forth. I mean, is there anything that you, that you really want to talk about? No, about nothing stood out. Conference? Nothing stood out. Just, uh, you know, Teofimo Lopez had his little, uh, Dalmatian hey, shirt. Hey, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good point. That I was a good like shirt. He, I was like, that's clean. Kind and, of. and you see him, like, kind of mean mugging or whatever. Yeah. Um, but other than that, it wasn't too crazy. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like maybe he wanted it to be a little more crazier, like, on, in the stare down, you know, when they had the stare down. But Capo kind of didn't really, you know, he's just... Yeah. The fight, first fight in the U.S. Yeah, was, States. To kind of go over there, yeah. Campo, you know, yeah, he happy, he happy to be here he's in the States. He's happy he could be here. You know, you know? He, he's never, uh, you know, fought on a stage like this. He's uh, going to be on TV, on ESPN. You know, of course, yeah. so, you know, he was, you know, that's not that type of stuff wasn't going to get to him. Mm -hmm. He just, you know, he happy. Yeah. So, so yeah. that was that. Nothing crazy on it. Uh -huh. Um, you know, but I am excited to see the return of yeah. Fimo Lopez. It's been yeah. about nine months since his yeah. last fight, as we know he. Lost to Cambosis. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, this is uh, definitely excited to see him back in the ring. You know, he was part of that uh, the Four Kings. You know, yeah, um, yeah he's a talent. He, hey, Tio is a, a talented fighter. You know, um, he's got power in both hands. He's known. Yeah. He got a strong right hand, and he got a nasty left hook. Yeah, and he goes to the body. Yeah, he, he, he finds he goes a way to the, body. to the body too. Yeah, he got a. Uh, you know, he also got. You know, he's got. He's a good counter puncher too. Mm -hmm. Um, he likes that uh, that Philly shell, that Floyd Mayweather. You know, you see him. You can tell that he definitely feels influenced uh, by, by Floyd. You know, yeah. with the shoulder rolls and uh, in the counters, he and, likes and that. And he's been doing that since like for forever. Since, 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 since his, his first fight, since the first and fight, he was doing that. Yeah, so I'd like him to get back to a little bit more to his jab, but you know. Um, and so definitely excited to see him back in the ring. And uh, most importantly, though, I'm trying to see uh, you know the different adjustments that you know that he made. You know, uh, because you know. Um, you know, it, it, that last fight was a rough fight for him. Yeah. Um, you know, he kind of talked about it, you know, um, and I feel like people are just going to always ask him about that, you know, I've asked about that fight for the, for, uh, you know, for yeah. a while. But, um, but yeah, you know, so, um, you know, he had a rough time out, so I'm anxious to see the kind of adjustments and to see what he looks like at 140 for the first time. That's right. Yeah. I, I forgot. This is the first time that he's at 140, mm -hmm. um, you know, fighting against Pedro Campo. I mean, he's got... One loss, I think. He has about one loss, one draw. Um, and, you know, he's fighting definitely against a come forward fighter. Yes. Um, Mexican though, style, that's what they... Mexican style, yeah. even though Teofimo Lopez definitely comes forward as well. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, for Pedro Campos, um, he did a little adjustments to his camp, so I'm kind of curious to see if he's going to look different than his fights. You know, he added Manny Robles to his team um, yeah. for the uh, coach, yeah. the trainer. Yeah, but uh, let's 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 call it what it is. You know, Tio's coming in here uh, to put on a show. You know, uh, this is a showcase for Tio. You know, I think ESPN is gonna, you know, he, you know, anxious to get him back. You know, back on top. And I think uh, Tio kind of talked about it. Um, you know, after the press conference and um, um, you know, in different interviews about you know how this is a, a big fight. You know, for him to you know put some uh, you know put some get some more respect on his name. Now this this opponent um, you know isn't. I don't think he's gonna get that. But, um, you know, he, he knows all the chatter, what happened, um, you know, uh, with Gambosis. And um, we just saw how Gambosis just got outclassed, Easy. you know. So it kind of, you know, it definitely put some pressure on Tio to look good. Um, he also talked about, um, you know, in an interview about how um, he's inviting people, um, inviting people to this fight. You know, like Oscar De La Hoya and talked about how he bought like a... 50, from, yeah, how much? He, he dropped 50K yeah. on tickets. Yeah, so I expect him to come out here and put on a show, you know what I mean, and uh, and get Campo out of there in an impressive fashion. Yeah. Um, but for me, I'm just anxious to see, you know, um, you know, just the adjustments, like I've kind of been saying. Yeah. Um, go ahead. Well, I just, I want to see, I, I know, I, I know he's, the way he's been talking on all yeah. his interviews and... You know, he just, he, he's been talking a little different, you know. Um, I think he's 
definitely going to come out and he's going to give a stoppage for sure. Yeah. And I feel like he's definitely going to put on a performance, you know. And I think, like you said, you know, he's inviting all these people out, a lot of celebrities. He said, you know, he going to want to show up, you know. Yeah. And uh, even Capo was talking about, like, um, his opponent is talking about how he's already that he seen Teofimo Lopez already like planning his um, after party and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I feel like he yeah. gonna get him out of there soon. Yeah, I think he gonna get him out of there. But yeah, he has been talking. Um, he has been talking a little different. Um, it seems like you know just hearing from uh, you know how this type of things that he's been talking and, and his dad's been talking. Now Tio still been talking crazy. He's still been talking crazy though. You know, saying as far as like. Oh, you know, uh, yeah, those guys need to earn a shot with me. Like, talking about the Devin Haney's yeah. and stuff. You know, he's still been talking crazy. He still thinks that he won uh, that fight. Um, you know, I didn't, you know, we didn't think that he won that fight. But, you know, um, but the the thing that he has been talking differently about is just about how when he starts talking about boxing and his approach to boxing, it definitely seems like he's different. Um, it seems like he's coming in the box. You know, um, you know, there was a lot of, uh, he got a lot of criticism in the uh, Gambosis fight because, you know, it looked like he, you know, he came in and he was just throwing haymakers, you know, and relying all on his power, you yeah. know, and not, didn't really give uh, Gambosis any respect. So, um, and it's funny because you hear, um, you know, the Devin Haney's and the Shakur Stevenson's, when they talk about, you know, when they first uh, met Tio and they first got, you know, the, you know, first met Tio about, you know, how his style was. And they used to talk about, you know, he, he wasn't known as a puncher back then. He was known as a boxer. You know, and so it kind of seems now that, you know, just the little things that he's been saying that, you know, it seems like he's going to get get back to boxing and just allow the uh, knockouts to come with boxing. And that's and that's really what he needs to do on the offensive side. Yeah. You know? I mean, honestly, I think for this fight, he didn't think about that. I think that for this fight, he think about I need to knock him out and put a spectacular and in yeah. a spectacular way because. He was talking about how Tank did his thing, you know, versus Roley, which was a, you know, knockout, yeah. great knockout performance. Same thing with Ryan. He was like, he did his thing, you know, which ended up in a great knockout also. He says that was yeah. my turn to show that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm still saying. I think he's going to come in and just. Yeah. I still say, no, I I still think he's coming in for the knockout, yeah. but it's about how he gets it this time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He's not going to come in uh, as reckless as he it's, was. You know what I mean? It's going to be more of a setup. You know, rather than him just loading up on every shot, because that's what he's been doing. You know, he kind of fell in, um, you know, some long, some some point along the ways. You know, he started falling in love with his power, and he loads up on a lot of shots. And you know, he had a lot of success. You know, he was re he's been relying on a lot of his athleticism and his power to get him out of trouble, and you know, yeah. it's carried him a long way. But now that he started, I feel like he's starting to realize that now he steps it up. He has to bring everything else up as well. And so I think that he is coming in for the knockout, but I think he's gonna just do it. Better, cleaner, sharper. You I know? can't wait to see it. Yeah, so you know, uh, so I expect him to come in and uh, and, and put on a show, Absolutely. get him out of there. Um, the most, uh, the really the thing that I'm looking for is what he does, uh, what changes he makes defensively. Um, you know, um, Gambosis. You know, I will say this: when he fought Gambosis, Gambosis had a great game plan for him, and um, you know, he the the shots that he was landing was shots that you know people have landed on Tio. Um, throughout throughout his career, and that is a uh, you know he's been susceptible to an overhand right. He's been susceptible to a um, to a left hook, and that's due to the fact that you know Tio, you know he 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 has his hands down a lot, and so you know and that made him easier for to be countered. So I'm just so I'm just you know I'm just waiting to see the adjustments that you know him and his dad you know they went back in the uh, went back in the lab and come out with you know defensively. I want to see him, you know, um, you know, bring that jab back after he throws the jab instead of, you know, dropping it and making him susceptible to a right hand. You know, I want to, I, I want him to keep the keep keep the ear from up, up. You know what I mean? I want him to, you know, uh, uh, keep his uh, hand on the phone. You know what I mean? I, that's that's what I want to see. That's what I'm looking for. But on top of that, for him to be sharp and uh, get him on up out of it. Yeah, I think it's gonna be early night. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, you know, um. Uh, I feel like for Tio, you know, a lot of uh, a lot he gets a lot of criticism just for the some of the wild things that he talks about, you know. And 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 I'll say this: I don't agree with a lot of the stuff he is, he, the, but a lot of the stuff that he says. But one thing about him is, um, he's an entertainer. Oh, for sure. He's an entertainer, and I feel like um, you know, a lot of the boxers, you know, a lot of boxers just want to show up and fight, and I and I like the fact. That he actually entertains, you know what I mean, and he's good for the sport. 
Um, and he brings a lot of ice to the sport because, because of his because, because of, of because of his character and things like that. Him, yeah. So you know, like it, uh, like him, love him or hate him. You know, I think he's good for the sport of boxing. And you he know? was a good guy. We met yeah. him in person. Yeah, we met him. You know, he was a good guy. Ago, and we met his pops. Him. You met his dad as well. His yep. pops is on another level. Yeah, he, yeah. Everything you guys probably hear or see on TV and talk yeah. about is true. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, true. yeah. Met him at the Shakur fight. We met him at the Shakur fight, but. But yeah, so you know, I think that kind of gets missed. You know, the fact that he's an entertainer and uh, you know he puts on a show. And um, you know, I'm uh, you know, we we rooting for all these young these young fighters. You know, um, and so I want them to look good and um, and win in spectacular fashion, so we can get all those big fights that we've been calling for. You know, so we so that Devin Haney fight still looks good. You know, for for the Ryan Garcia still looks good. For the Josh Taylor that still looks good. And that's what he was talking about. Uh huh. Going to fight. And another thing um, about his last fight, he even talked about it. He was like, you know, I definitely fought different. And, um, you know, just thinking back, he definitely did fight different. One thing about, like, Teal that he he always had, like, even when it, from his first fight, he always had, like, good patience, you know. And he always had, you know, uh, pretty good poise. And you can tell from round one, as soon as that buzzer had started with uh, Gambosis, he was coming in and knock yeah. his head off. Mm. I mean, um, during that time, you know, he, you know, he was dealing with a lot of stuff, uh, you know, a lot of stuff outside of the ring, you know, and also, it, didn't they say, you know, he also had like a medical issue? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Um, something about the, I think it's a soft, it's, it's soft, yeah. I can't Something about his esophagus, but something where, something where, you know, he had a lot of air in his chest that couldn't be released. And there were the, all, he said all the doctors yeah. that he saw was like, how are you even still alive, you know? Yeah. So he was, I guess, fighting under a lot of pressure, literally pressure in, in yeah. his chest, Yeah, that's, Yeah, that's what, uh, what the reports were. And, um, and, and just, a, just another thing about him uh, moving to uh, 140, um, you know, he, he, he mentioned that, you know, I've been pretty much killing myself to make 135. Yeah. And, um, you know, he said he's been there for how long? Since he was like 14. Yeah, he's been at 135 for a long time. So, um, and I even remember back when that, um, when he fought the, um, when he fought Nakatani, you know, he was talking about moving up then and, and, um, you know, with the nutritionist and stuff like that, he was talking about how hard it was, you know, for him to make 135 in a Nakatani fight. And he had, you know, the Lomachenko fight and the Gambosis fight after that. So I'm interested to see how he looks at 140. Yeah, you know, he did say that what he had in that fight had a lot, because at first they had asked him, do you think, or one of the interviews was like, do you think that, I think he got like, one of like the biggest guys, like, to punch him in the stomach, or to see oh, him yeah. his punches, yeah. to ask him, like, do you think, you know, that has something to mm -hmm. do with whatever it was that he was going through with the... I think I ever? even told you that. I was yeah. like, Man. And then he was like, he goes, nah, he goes, so honestly, it was like, just me killing my body to try to, try to make 135. You know, um, well, I think I think it, I think yeah, I think that was two different issues. Uh, I think because I was saying when that medical issue came up, I was saying I bet it has something to do with that body shot challenge that he was doing with yeah, uh, they, with the guy. I you know I can't remember that big guy. Yeah, he says like the one mountain, of the, literally one of the strongest and, uh, guys alive. Yeah, and when I looked at uh, I kind of looked up whatever uh, you know the you know what the doctor said the diagnosis and it said it could be from blunt trauma. I'm like, dude, he took a body shot like that. I'm like, I bet it has something to do with that. But of course, they're not gonna come out and say that. Yeah. But. But yeah, no, but, um, you know, definitely all eyes is gonna be on him, and not just him, but on, um, but on his dad as well as a coach, because oh, there was a lot of criticism yeah. towards his dad, and uh, for not stopping the fight, for not stopping, and even just just his directions in the corner, yeah. you know, weren't you know the best. Talking about, you know, he was going in there. Why don't you get him out of there already? You know, not really, you know, giving him the instructions. But you know, we just not the way to see. Yeah, man, it's gonna be an exciting action fight for sure. That's for sure. I just can't wait to see the fight, and yeah. we can come back and talk about the recap. Yeah, but uh, that's all we got, so uh, thanks for tuning in, y'all. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Or talk your shit. And we out.